here for just a couple of minutes. I'm just going to go over a couple of things, um, little tips, um, some tricks, no uh, things to know when you are starting your painting. So um, I told you to paint, to draw all three drawings in pencil. And I also said, don't, you don't have to draw every little tiny detail, just in general, pencil drawing so you know where everything goes. And the reason I don't want you to stress too much about the pencil drawings, that should be like a, you know, one day, you should probably get them done today if you, I don't want you to spend too long on them because um, you're going to paint over all of this. And the way I want you to paint over this, you might paint over some of your lines. Um, because what I want you to do is I want you to work background to foreground. So the background would be like the sky or whatever's furthest. Um, the, the middle ground would be the stuff that's like, it's far away, but you still see like, um, it's kind of like the, the area in between. Um, and then the foreground is going to be the stuff up close where you might see like flowers, leaves, details. Um, and you want to basically work back to front and you want to work big to small. So I want to fill in the big shapes first and then go back in and add details on top of that. Um, this, this helps you avoid having weird brush marks. Like if I fill in this mountain first and then I go in and try to fill in the sky, I'm going to have brush strokes that look like they're going around the mountain. It's going to look a little disruptive because your brush strokes are part of your mark making. So what I would recommend to do is to start with your sky and, um, sky is not flat. So I want you to try using some blending techniques. Um, to make your colors a little bit more rich. So I'm going to show you some, some things to do that. So first of all, let's pick a color scheme. Pick a, who, name a color scheme, any color scheme. Warm. Okay, warm colors. We'll do warm. Um, so warm colors are your, your oranges, your reds, your, your yellows. So if I'm doing warm colors, I might start off with like red violet. Yeah. So I'm going to mix yeah. a little red violet here. Oh, got to make it really red so it's a warm color. And I'm going to get a little extra water on my brush just so I can have a lot of flow. And I'm going to paint all the way across. I'm using a little bit bigger brush, and I have some bigger brushes over on the side counter. And I'm going to paint over the edges of my mountains. And the reason is, is I want these nice horizontal brush strokes. And then I kind of let it fade out as my, my paint runs out there. And now I'm going to dry off my brush, clean off my brush. Just basically get my apron totally messy. Now I'm going to add some lights. I'm going to get some um, yellows here. I'm going to start down here and I'm going to work my way up. That was maybe a little too harsh. Maybe I need a little bit of orange. Okay. So I'm going to get a different value color down here. And I'm going to make horizontal brush strokes and fade up into my first color. And then if I went too far there, I'm just making a big mess. I Basically, I forgot to get a um, paper towel. Um, I might go back in with my red violet and kind of go back. Now, I can still mostly see those lines, but I might have lost a couple of lines because I want to put a good amount of paint down. So you have to be willing to lose a couple lines. And just remember where they are. Um, because now that I've gotten this sky done, I can dry off my brush and I can start in with, um, let's say I want to make my mountains a little bit lighter. I can create, maybe I'll add a little bit of black to make a sort of warm toned gray. So this is kind of a yellowish gray, so I can still use it because it's still warm color. And now I can go in on top of that and paint my mountains. Also, I've done this like, a, um, you know, three times a year for several years. So, you know, practice makes better. Um, but now the sky looks like it's behind the mountains because I put that layer down first and those brush strokes are uninterrupted. So that is the key, that is one of the big keys to making landscapes look like each layer is behind the the next closest layer is paint over the paint the the pencil lines and if you're really if you got something really specific that you want to save maybe go over those pencil lines real dark so that you can try to still see them through the paint a little bit 
Um, otherwise, just kind of make sure that you understand. I might be giving up some of these pencil lines, so when I paint over something, I just got to remember that it's there or take a picture so you remember it. It can change as you go through your painting. Um, but uh, figure out your color scheme. Figure out which colors you're going to use. So, like, if it's monochromatic, you should probably figure out, well, I'm going to use red or whatever. And then um, sometimes it helps to let these layers dry before going back in. But now maybe I want to get um, a detail brush and make like a really pale tint of my color. And I can go in and start adding some, some details. So maybe I go in now and I'm adding, oh, I want an even paler tint. Now I can go in and start adding some details on top of that. Um, I can go in and start adding some shades. You remember shading some some yellow? That always looks pretty good. Um, I can go in and I can start adding some details and texture and shades and, and highlights. But it's a lot easier because I already have that base color down. Okay. So working back to front and working <coughs> like big shape to little detail um, is these are some of the things that I want you to try out. Try blending your colors, try using tints and shades of all of your colors um, and play around with your paint. And also we have plenty of time to do this. So I'm working fast because I want to let you get back to work. Um, but take your time on each one. You can maybe do like a background and then set it aside to let it dry and then move on to a different one. You can work on all three at the same time if you would like to. Um, you know, manage your time. We would probably be working on this through next week. Like we'd be finishing them up next week. We have all the rest of this week. And then since we Tuesday's a little disrupted, I would say that we would be finishing this up next week and have all that time. Mm -hmm. All right. Godspeed.